guys, welcome back to another episode here on the NSG server. This is episode 10, I think, or 11, I don't know, it's been a while, but I am back from vacation, and we're starting off the episode in a little bit of a weirder place. So, um, I got back uh, yesterday, and I was just on the server chilling a little bit with some guys. Uh, Logan popped on, and me and him were chilling around here. My base is just, uh, it's nearby. It's somewhere nearby. Um, we were trying to get a trident, and believe it or not, let's see here. Look what we got, a trident, which is awesome. Uh, so we are going to get this thing all geared up uh, in this episode, and we are also going to make our shop uh, for the guardian farm that we built last episode. What's up, buddy? Not of much use to me. Uh, anymore okay so I was thinking what we can do is fly on up yep okay so our base is this way because this is the mob farm that we see all the time so our base should be right over here um yep yeah so for the theme I think I'm gonna build like a miniature like or like a like almost like a pixel already type guardian uh, out of the blocks and then, you know, obviously, uh, pretty it up and do, you know, some of our normal terraforming and stuff. Uh, so I'm going to get gather the materials, uh, and we will head to the shopping district with our materials for the build and some diamonds, uh, and do some shopping this episode as well. We are outside of Mac Brooks' beautiful shop here in the shopping district, and I was informed that she has some books that I might want. Right here, the Trident Enchantments. So I want Riptide 3. I want Impaling 5. Oh, oh, that's what I want. So 4 go back. And then I want Unbreaking. No! Um, and then Mending. Uh, so no Mending. She doesn't have um, Unbreaking. Wait, wait, wait. Dang it. Does she have any that's like multiple? With like an unbreaking on it. Let's we gotta check all of them. Even unbreaking one will be good because I can combine that and then get unbreaking two. No. No, Mac. I'm disappointed. Right, well, I'll I'll look through those later, uh, but I think it is uh, one diamond unless said otherwise, and it doesn't say otherwise. And I took two books, and look, guys, I got all my stuff all sorted in my uh, inner chest. Like so now, I have like a bunch of stuff. So two here, down there. Actually, give me like a lot of diamonds. Uh, cause I want to do some shopping while we're doing this. I'm also going to buy all of this. Four diamonds, right? One sec, one diamond, sweet. And now I want to go over to Mystery's shop and I want to buy him out. Pretty much. I want to I buy a lot from him. Um, no, okay. Three with this goes for three diamonds. So if I take... Where does that get me? Okay. That's not what I should do. And then do that. Sweet. And now we got nine wither skulls. And we already have one nether star, so that's ten. That'd be ten in total. Uh let's buy a ton of iron. Because 1.14 is coming up and his iron farm will break. That's three. Alright, that makes it two. There we go. Uh, yeah. I feel like that's pretty good. Bunch of 32 obsidian for one diamond. Okay, so 64 for two. Uh, I can't place this anywhere. Ah, uh, guess I gotta take that back. Okay. Thank you. Now, what else is going on here? That's a redstone shop. Don't really need that, personally. 
Um, General Supply Corp, that's just like trash, and that is fireworks. Uh, so I think we're good. What's over here? I think that McKinsey also made this. Max Market. Bigger cane, potatoes, some food. Alright, cool. How much are these? Half stack, one diamond. Okay, one second. I will do that. I will buy all of them. Give me a second. Quick, I need to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, let me see. I need this. Throw all these in here. There we go. Give me that. Thank you. Oh, there, make it look like she got a lot of sales. Um, so what else can I toss in here? Do I have a food chest yet? No, I just have food in there. Okay, I need to do that. So that will be next, a food choker box. Do I have a, an empty one? No, okay. I do have a lot of materials here for our farm. So I'm going to find a location and then get set up with it. All right, so I think I want to put our shop right here. And what I'm going for is kind of going to be like Exumavoid's turtle area ocean shop on the Hermitcraft 6 server. Uh, so essentially, but instead of the turtle in the front, I want to do a guardian in the front. And then it will, it'll, there'll be a tunnel underneath. Uh, I'll throw a picture up of it on screen right now. Uh, but there'll be a tunnel underneath and it'll be flooded. And I've got the materials for a conduit, I believe, right in somewhere. It's actually back at the base. Dang it. Uh, but I do have the materials for a conduit. And so they'll be able to breathe and see underwater and stuff. Um, and yeah, it'll be a really, really nice shop. Uh, so I'm going to go on ahead and make our guardian real quick. And then I'll build up the hill around him. But all right, bucko. Listen up. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I'm busy. Essentially, what I want to do is I want to clear this out. That's probably really loud. Um, let's do this. Nope. Maybe I should wait and do this at daytime, but, you know, this isn't really about being smart. It's just about, you know, being being i guess okay um so what we can do is i'll kind of want to do like a sphere shape so we can probably do like five in the front hmm. and then this will lead down right in front of them i want to push it back further that's right there okay so there is fine i like that okay so it'll kind of be like a shape like this, I think. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna work on this and and get it in, and then I'll I'll be back. All right, guys. So there it is, right there. Um, <laughs> I think it looks really really nice, and I've transitioned this nice little pathway that transitions down into mainly sand, and I'll get some sea lanterns and lighting and stuff in here later. Uh, and then I'm going to have a little hole right here, and then it'll open up into a big room that's going to be all fully flooded with water. We're going to hide the conduit inside the guardian head, which I think is really cool. Um, so it'll give you, um, like, uh, like night vision and, like, underwater and stuff and water breathing. Uh, so you can swim around the shop. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess I'm going to get back for, to work on that. Uh, Red Nazar Minecraft Scribe's on right now. He's been chilling around the shopping area. He's working on a shop, so be sure to go check out his video uh, once that's up. I'm sure it'll be really cool. He's done a lot of cool things over in, in his desert base. I would definitely recommend checking out his video. Thank you very much to Minecraft Scribe or Red Nas for helping me clear out this little area. Uh, I told him I'd give him some sea lanterns or something from the shop. Uh, he helped me so thank you all right so i have done quite a bit of work uh since the last clip uh we finished clearing out the area and now i've been decorating and it, i mean it looks nice but it can definitely get better and it will once this is all filled in with water then we'll have the seagrass and corals and a bunch of really nice stuff and sea pickles and everything and it'll be very very pretty i'm actually going to put the conduit right here on display um I thought it'd be really cool. Got some chests here, and then I will let people know what the item is. I'll have a, a renamed emerald or something right here, and it, it'll be like 
like this cost for the diamond or whatever and then all the payment chests will be here or they can just put it in here uh as well so yeah i'm gonna fill this thing in with water and uh, do a little bit more decorating and i'll show you guys when i'm done all right just about everything is done i am going to craft the conduit now i've never made one of these so i might get an achievement now okay uh well this heart of the sea wasn't originally mine i purchased it from someone can't remember who um but maybe that's why i don't know um but here's how the place is looking super luscious super fruitful uh maybe one day i could get like a little like window in here with like a, some guardians on either side i thought might be cool but i think to do this i have to place it right there and then wait a second there we go it's not fully powered up but it, it's powered up enough i think uh, i think it looks nice i think this place is very 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 pretty and i hear water flowing and i'm not sure where because i think everything should be horse blocks but i don't know it may be somewhere else who knows um but yeah i think this place looks really really nice so now i've got to stock up the shop and set prices and uh then i'll sh come back and show you guys uh kind of the summary of everything all right i'm um, just here gathering some supplies to stock up i've already done quite a bit of it uh and i wanted to say oh that's loud um i'm really glad i did decide to add the xp function because i can come here stock up and also repair my stuff do that they're gonna die but the ones after it there we go look at that and i can just hold my new trident in my hand oh actually does that i'm not sure if it actually i don't think tridents can do sweeping edge It is killing them though, but I think the best way to repair it would just be like this. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm also going to stock up the shop and set the prices, like I said. That is it guys, we are done. This place is now fully stocked up. It is open for business. It says, welcome to Dash Inc. Guardian Farm. I need to add shop right there. Um, hover over the emerald for the cost. Contact Dash to buy a season pass. For unlimited materials or access to the farm and the actual like xp uh, part of this farm as well um so yeah not in there but it one stack one stack for two diamonds uh for prismarine uh and this will also be prismarine uh one stack for four diamonds for the bricks i will probably lower these later but for now this is what i want to do because i really want to encourage people to buy the season pass um uh, nine stacks for one diamond, so like a row for one diamond. And this is both full. This farm outputs a ton of cooked cod. And then one stack for five diamonds. And then once I have this, I'm gonna have to build a uh, a squid farm. So it'll be one stack for six diamonds for these, because uh, they're really hard to get right now because no one has a squid farm. Um, but yeah, I think this place looks super pretty. Let's grab a screenshot. Right. There we go. So there's our thumbnail i hope you guys enjoyed this episode it is so good to be back here on the nsg server making some videos i'm super pumped for the future of nsg the 1.14 plans let's get one of these as well you know just in case just like that um but yeah super pumped scribe has been working all day on his shop over here looks really really nice but i don't want to spoil it so i'm not going to actually go over there um but yeah, uh, super psyched for the future of NSG, glad to be back, and uh, my name is Dash, and as always, thanks for watching.